Hey, my name's Ricky. I'm an aviation mechanic at Seegers Aero Corporation. As an aviation mechanic, I'm responsible for the upkeep of various accessories on a C-130 aircraft. It runs a T-56 uh, power plant, and I'm working on the field control here, as you can see. Um, on the field control buildup and disassembly, I take the parts out, clean them, inspect them, and quote the customer for whatever they need. Um, right now, I'm working on a buildup of the component. Um, as you see, I'm about 75% of the way done. Once it gets to 100% of the way complete, completely built, I will hand it off to Lucas, which he would then calibrate the, the field control and have it ready for uh, disassembly on the engine. I mean assembly, I'm sorry, on the engine. Um, the hours, we typically work 48 hours a week. Um, the stress level is very, very high at some points. There's a hot item and we're kind of behind. We sometimes have to work an extra shift to make sure we deliver the, the customer's unit on time. For instance, we've, there's been times that people have to work Saturdays and Sundays, late shifts, staying at 10 o'clock at night, you know, to get the job done. Be, being, that, being that as it may, I, I love the stress level. I love the, the challenge. I love being able to come home and feel like I've got something accomplished. To uh, anyone being interested in being an aviation mechanic, I definitely recommend uh, going to a two-year program. The program I went in uh, was two years long. It was strenuous course schedule. They uh, made sure you knew the books. It's, uh, basically like in high school, it's a high school schedule format. It's Monday through Friday, 8 to 2.30, 8 to 3 o'clock. You can find programs like this at your local community college or at any trade school. Many high schools offer this program as a trade. Um, if you have mechanical skills, that's a very good plus if you like working on cars or boats or anything mechanically. If you're mechanically inclined and love working with tools, I definitely recommend anybody who wants to uh, pursue that to definitely do it. I would definitely say the best part about being an aviation mechanic is uh, seeing your final product, you know, seeing a plane take off and realizing, look, I had a hand in making that work. I had a hand in seeing that in the air and being safe. Without a doubt, the worst part is probably the stress level. Um, when deadlines come quickly, you know, they, they want you working, they want you working a lot, they want you working quickly, but at the same time, maintaining a quality product. And the stress, without a doubt, is the worst part for me. I definitely recommend uh, getting in books about aircraft, you know, seeing what the job entails, whether you want to be a line maintenance guy, a component maintenance guy, or a sheet metal guy. Figure out exactly which path you want to go. I've done almost all three of those, and I could say that component maintenance is one of the more friendly of the three, but it just depends on what your true niche is, what you truly want to do. I definitely recommend just working with tools, working in a garage with your dad or grandfather, be that as it may, or just trying to get an apprenticeship with a tire company, you know, just slinging tires on cars and just getting familiar with different tools and different skills because you're definitely going to use those skills in this line of work as well.